By now you should have no problem multiplying out this expression. We have a monomial, or one term, being multiplied by a binomial, or two terms. To multiply this, we need to multiply each term inside the bracket by a. a times x equals ax. And a times y equals ay. Please pause to check my working. In grade 9, you also need to simplify the following type of expression. In other words, a binomial, or two terms, multiplied by another binomial. Let's go on to see how to do this. We start with the first term in the first bracket. And we multiply it by the first term in the second bracket. This gives ax. We then multiply the first term in the first bracket by the second term in the second bracket. This gives plus ay. We now do the same for the second term in the first bracket. In other words, we multiply it by the first term in the second bracket. This gives plus bx. And then we multiply it by the second term in the second bracket. This gives plus vy. We have now multiplied everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket, and we can't simplify further because there are no like terms. Some people like to use the word foil to remind them how to do this multiplication. F reminds us to multiply the first term by the first term. O reminds us to multiply the two outer terms. I reminds us to multiply the two inner terms. And L reminds us to multiply the two last terms. Please pause and try to memorize this pattern. Let's use FOIL to help us simplify this example. We begin by multiplying the first terms, x times x equals x squared. We then multiply the outer terms, x times plus 5 equals plus 5x. Then we multiply the inner terms, plus 2 times x equals plus 2x. We end by multiplying the last two terms, plus 2 times plus 5 equals plus 10. Are we finished? No, we have two like terms, so we can simplify further. 5x plus 2x equals 7x. Now we are finished. Please pause to check my working. Here is the next example. Let's again use FOIL to help us. We begin with the first terms. a times a equals a squared. Then the outer terms. a times minus 4 equals minus 4a. Then the inner terms, plus 3 times a equals plus 3a. Then the last terms, plus 3 times minus 4 equals minus 12. Are we finished? No, we again have like terms. Minus 4a plus 3a equals minus 1a, or just minus a. Please pause to check my working. Here is the next example. Please pause and try it on your own first. We begin with the first terms. 2x times x equals 2x squared. Then the outer terms. 2x times minus 3y equals minus 6xy. Then the inner terms. Minus y times x equals minus xy. And then the last terms. Minus y times minus 3y equals plus 3y squared. Are we finished? No, we again have like terms. Minus 6xy minus xy equals minus 7xy. Please pause to check my working. In the next example, we have two identical brackets with opposite signs. We again use FOIL x times x equals x squared. Next we multiply the outer terms, x times plus 5 equals plus 5x. And then the inner terms, minus 5 times x equals minus 5x. 
and then the last terms, minus 5 times plus 5 equals minus 25. Are we finished? No, we again have like terms. And this time the like terms cancel out, so the answer is x squared minus 25. In other words, the answer has only two terms. Please note, the answer will always have only two terms if the brackets are identical with opposite signs. Please pause to check my working. In the next example, we again have two identical brackets with opposite signs. Let's go on to see if we get an answer with only two terms. Using FOIL, we begin with the first terms, 2p times 2p equals 4p squared. Then the outer terms, 2p times plus 3 equals plus 6p. Then the inner terms, minus 3 times 2p equals minus 6p. And then the last terms, minus 3 times plus 3 equals minus 9. Are we finished? No, we have like terms. The like terms again cancel out, so we are left with only two terms in the answer, which is what we expected. Please pause to check my working. The next example looks different. Do you know what it means? The power of 2 tells us that we need to multiply the bracket by itself. In other words, we need to do the following which is what we've been doing the whole lesson. We proceed as before, x times x equals x squared. We then multiply the outer terms, x times plus 3 equals plus 3x. And then the inner terms, plus 3 times x again equals plus 3x. And then the last terms, plus 3 times plus 3 equals plus 9. Are we finished? No, we have like terms. 3x plus 3x equals 6x, so the answer is x squared plus 6x plus 9. Please note, when squaring a bracket, there is a shortcut you can use. We square the first term in the bracket. We then multiply the first term by the second term and double the answer. And then we square the second term. This again gives the answer we got earlier. Please note, if you are comfortable with this shortcut, please use it. Otherwise, you are welcome to use the long method. Please pause if you need to. In the next example, we are again asked to square a binomial. If we use the long method, step 1 is to write the bracket twice. We then use FOIL, x times x equals x squared. We then multiply the outer terms, x times minus 4 equals minus 4x. Then the inner terms, minus 4 times x equals minus 4x. And then the last terms, minus 4 times minus 4 equals plus 16. We then need to add the like terms, minus 4x minus 4x equals minus 8x. So the answer is x squared minus 8x plus 16. Let's now use the shortcut to get the answer. We square the first term. We then double the product of the first and second terms. And we square the second or last term. This again gives the same answer. This completes the lesson. Good luck with the test.